I love chocolate and specifically I love dark chocolate. I eat dark chocolate almost every day and that's what got me interested in the effects of dark chocolate. So for the last year and a half I've been tracking how much chocolate I've eaten. In this vlog I'll discuss what science says about dark chocolate and I'll explain what doing statistics on my own chocolate eating habits has taught me about my life. I eat almost all my chocolate at work, specifically this brand of chocolate. And to celebrate my love of chocolate, each time I finished one of these packets, I've stuck it in the wall of my office. And as you can see, I like chocolate. I really like chocolate. Could we interest you in some chocolate? The chocolate. Where's the chocolate? Do you want a chocolate? Chocolate! Chocolate! So last week I came back from a three week holiday in Indonesia. And on my way back at the airport I had chocolate for the first time in three weeks. And in that moment I realized again how much I love chocolate. Now given that I had a lot of time on my hands, I decided to read some of the scientific literature about chocolate and its effect on your body and your mind. Now the research I found seemed to mainly focus on two positive effects of chocolate. The first is the positive effects of chocolate on your mood and your behavior. And the second is the positive effects chocolate has on your heart. First I want to mention a few important details about the data I've gathered about my own chocolate eating habits. Since I eat most of my chocolate at work, I just want to be looking at working days and also at working days where I spend at least six hours in the office because that's where all my chocolate is. So that way I have a fair comparison and it's not too much influenced by the time I've spent at work. Over that period of about a year, I ate 384 of these bars of chocolate at work. Now given that each of these contains about 151 kilocalories, I ate a total of 57,984 kilocalories of this dark chocolate. Now given that a man needs about 2,500 kilocalories a day, that will mean with that amount of chocolate I could sustain myself for 23 days eating exclusively that dark chocolate. Now let's move on to a bit more serious stuff. Personally I'm most interested in seeing if chocolate has any effect on my mood and my productivity. And science does have a few things to say about this. So dark chocolate has been linked to a lower chance of depression, a decrease in anxiety, and also been linked to better cognitive performance, better abstract reasoning, improvements in some parts of memory, and it has been shown to acutely improve cognitive and visual functions. Now to see what effect chocolate has on my life, I wanted to focus on three things. Stress, happiness and productivity. And to see if these three things are indeed affected by chocolate eating, at the end of each day I've scored how happy I felt, how productive I've been and how stressed I felt. Now scientific literature is not conclusive about this, but in general it seems to suggest that if I eat more chocolate I should be more happy, more productive and less stressed. So let's see if that's what I found. So I actually went into our studio to create some code to analyze my data. So I had to load in both my chocolate eating habit data and the data about my happiness and productivity. And using some simple statistics and some data visualizations, I can then interpret the data. And that's what you see here. And let's first look at how much chocolate I've eaten over that period of a year uh, on average. Uh, so each dot here is one day, one working day where I ate chocolate. Um, and you can see that most days I did eat some chocolate. So on the y-axis, which is here, you can see the number of bars I ate. So usually I ate at least one, often two. Um, and here you see the date that, I, uh, that I'm talking about. 
So you can see that in the beginning uh, of the year I actually ate quite a lot more chocolate than at the end. So I went on average from about 2 bars of chocolate to 1.3 bars of chocolate. So there is some change but I'm still relatively stable over time. So how did that chocolate eating uh, over time actually change per day of the week? Um, so that's also something we can have a look at. So here we see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. So the working days and the amount of chocolate I eat. So I'm pretty stable uh, per day of the week, though you can see I eat a bit more chocolate on Mondays, maybe to get the week started. And then finally, let's have a look at how it actually uh, affects me. So let's first have a look at how, it's, how it affects my happiness. So that's what you see here. Uh, so here you see 0, 1, 2 and 3 bars of chocolates and then a score of happiness I give, uh, which is actually between 0 and 100. Um, but I'm usually on average about 50 uh, and then you can see if it's more or less if I eat more bars of chocolate and though the variation is not that big you do see that as I eat more chocolate I generally become more happy so if I eat two or three bars of chocolate I'm most happy um, but it's also important to see if that's statistically significant so that's why we're gonna go into the programming language R so here I created some very simple code with very basic statistics just to get a feel for if the result we're finding is statistically also significant. Uh, so if I run this line of code, we get the result down here. And what we actually see is that there would be an 0.2% uh, chance of getting the type of finding we get by chance. So that means it's significant. Usually if this value is below 0.05, people say it's significant and this is the association between my happiness and the amount of chocolate I eat. Now in addition to happiness I also wanted to look at stress and if we look at that we also see that as I eat more chocolate bars I get less stressed so one two three bars four bars of chocolate the stress goes down uh, my stress score and also if I look at my productivity uh, on a scale of 1 to 10, there's a slight increase in productivity as I uh, eat more chocolate. So let's now have a look at the statistics. Um, so when it comes to productivity, uh, and specifically uh, work productivity, uh, we see there's a significant association again here with a p-value of 0 0.005 uh, between productivity and how much chocolate I ate. And if you look at stress, it's a little bit less significant, a p-value of 0.02, but there's still a significant association. So that's pretty cool to see, in addition to having an effect on your mood and behavior. Scientific literature also suggests that chocolate has a positive effect on your heart. Specifically, it's supposed to reduce your blood pressure, reduce your cholesterol, increase your general heart health, lower your risk of a stroke, improve your insulin sensitivity and improve your vascular function. Now to check if chocolate had any effect on my heart, for the last year and a half in the evening I've also been measuring my blood pressure. So here's what I found. So I also loaded my blood pressure data into my programming language and let's look at the results. Uh, so I've been tracking my blood pressure for uh, the whole time I've been eating chocolate. Uh, and there's two types of blood pressure, systolic and diastolic blood pressure. Um, and here you see that over time. So as you can see from January till February 2019, um, my blood pressure is here on the y-axis. There's been a slight increase in blood pressure over time. And this is also true for my uh, systolic blood pressure. I don't know why this is, but as we saw before, my chocolate eating over time has decreased a bit. So you might expect there to be some association between chocolate and blood pressure. We do see that as I eat more bars of chocolate there's some decrease in my systolic blood pressure and also some decrease in my diastolic blood pressure here. Now if we then do some statistics, so again looking at some very simple statistics if we compare chocolate eating to systolic blood pressure we indeed see a p-value below 0.05 which is significant uh, and the same is true as we can see here for diastolic blood pressure but it's just barely significant um, but we do see that there is an association between my chocolate eating and my blood pressure which is pretty cool so what makes dark chocolate so special that it gives you all these health benefits scientific literature is actually not clear about that though there are some theories 
One of the main ones appears to be that this molecule called flavanol is involved. And flavanol also functions as an antioxidant. But flavanol can also be found in things like tea, grapes and apples, so there must be something else that makes chocolate so special. I think it's really cool that I can see this relationship between chocolate and my happiness and health. Though we cannot say for sure that it's actually chocolate that is causing me to be more happy and more productive and less stressed. It could be the other way around, that when I'm more productive and happier and less stressed that I start eating more chocolate. Now if I wanted to test that I would actually have to plan my days in advance to eat certain amount of chocolate on different days. Now I might do that someday, but for now I'm just happy to have an excuse to eat more chocolate. CHOCOLATE! CHOCOLATE! Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more content like it, please consider subscribing. And I also created an Instagram account where I'll show you my life as a quantified scientist and it's linked below.